welcome to my channel. This video is for a mini and peewee mum backer. Don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell for notifications on my uploads and live streams. I'll be using a four and three quarter inch backer or ribbon spool end, cutting my ribbons at five inches long. These are two and a half to three inch width ribbons, and this is a one and a half inch width ribbon, and so I'm just layering those making sure I'm cutting them the same length. Since it's for a mini mum, I'm only cutting them at five inches long. If I was doing a regular size mum, I'd cut them at six inches. So I'm taking that red and just putting it on top of the white diagonally and then making the loop. Just gives it a slightly different upgraded look. And then I always start at the north end of my, of my backer. And you wanna be careful about how high you're attaching these and you wanna get them on there as straight and even as possible. Then I give it two staples and then I move on to the south side of the backer. So again, I make my loop and then I try to make it or attach it evenly across from the first one I attach. So I always go north, south, east, and west. It just works well for me. It helps me to attach them uh, pretty evenly and spaced out evenly. And now I'm gonna move on to the east and west one they're never perfectly on there they're never perfectly uh, attached but i just try to get them as close as i can and when i'm flipping it over backwards i'm just making sure that it's uh, attached evenly not just evenly but the loop is not too far up or too far down on the backer because that can uh, really make the backer look bad too if you're getting them off that way so you can make draw a circle on your backer like exactly where you want to attach your loop. That way you know you're getting them uh, attached that way evenly, so up and down. So you don't have to, you have to always worry about are you attaching them crooked? Are you attaching them too far up, too far down, evenly spaced? So it's a lot to think about. Now I'm again with the one and a half inch uh, width ribbon and I'm cutting them at six inches long because I'm gonna make twisted loops and I'm layering it with the white. The white is about 1.3 inches width, so it's a little bit shorter. And here's how you make the twisted loop. It's very easy. It can be a little confusing at first. You, it's one of those things you don't want to think about too hard. You just want to do it. And you can you get two different looks from it. You can do it where the red is on top or the white is on top. So think about that before you're attaching them and make sure you're attaching them the same unless you want to change each one of them up. And I find it's easier actually to go ahead and staple them before attaching them to the backer because they do come undone very easily and that's going to be really frustrating. So go ahead and give them a staple and then attach them to your backer. And I'm just going in between those big loops and just trying to make sure I'm at, again attaching them between the two loops evenly and not too far up and not too far down and giving them two staples. I'm just kind of using my hand as a guide on how far out they are going. I am making them go out just a little bit further than the loops. Like they kind of have a point there. So I want them going out just a little bit further. And you want to think about your flower size. How big is your flower? That depends on not just the backer size, but how far out you're going with your loops and whether or not you need to do uh, a couple of layers of loops or if you just need one layer of loops. Now I'm going to go over with this uh, silver glitter ribbon. Now you can go ahead and attach this to begin with before you attach them to your backer. You can go ahead and attach it, staple them all three pieces together, or you can glue this on top of the red before you attach it to the backer, or after you've got them attached to your backer and you decide you want to add a little bling, you can go ahead and do it this way. So either way, you're actually saving a little bit of ribbon if you do it this way, but it can be a little bit more difficult to attach them. So just think about it that way. This is an easy way to add a different element, a different texture, it blings it up a little bit. And actually these are glitter ribbons from the Dollar Tree and I love these. They're the perfect width and they just add so much and they're very inexpensive. So it's cost worthy for you and I just love these. So you can get, um, at Christmas time, Hobby Lobby has some good glitter ribbons as well but they have different widths as well. They have some that are a little bit wider than this and then some that are thinner. So I usually buy all three and it just depends on what width ribbons I'm working with. And then when you get to the end, you might 
I, you may have noticed one piece that I put on might be a little short there on the front if my flower doesn't cover that up. So all you have to do is just cut off another little piece and glue it on top. And you can't even tell. It probably won't even show to begin with, but just to be safe, if you end up doing something like that, it's a very simple fix. Just make sure you line the two pieces up uh, evenly on top of each other and glue it down good. Now I'm going to add some tinsel and I'm just kind of twisting this tinsel to give it a more fuller look. It's kind of flattened out from being in a bin and I'm just going to staple it where I want it and not very much of this will actually show when I attach my flower unless I'm attaching a really small flower. So you'll just see this little bit of red uh, sparkle sticking out from under the flower all the way around. So it's a nice little filler and it will help cover up any mistakes and it will add some sparkle and of course if you end up with too small of a flower to your backer this is a good fix too to help fill that in especially if you don't have enough ribbons. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to share, like, comment. Please be kind with your comments. Ask me questions and I'll help you out. Uh, please be kind to others and happy mom making.